Let's talk about these quarterbacks. The four that are remaining. The four quarterbacks that are remaining. One has an opportunity to win his second Super Bowl. One has an opportunity to make his second Super Bowl in consecutive years in just his third year. And then there's two young ones on the other side. And one happens to be an MVP candidate, and the other one happens to be a Rookie of the Year candidate and one of the most amazing stories of all time. I'm talking about, obviously, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, and Brock Purdy. How about that as the final four quarterbacks of this NFL campaign? And so many are talking about um, the AFC Championship game because of Mahomes versus Burrow. And the fact that we are watching some young, talented quarterbacks who appear to be quite generationally talented going against each other, forging a rivalry in the conference that Brady and Peyton Manning had so many great moments together. And last year, we thought that was the birth of the Mahomes and Allen rivalry. And this year... Coming in to this year, the conversation was not will Mahomes and Allen play each other in the playoffs, but just which round was it going to happen in? And sure enough, they didn't get to see each other because for the second straight year, Joe Burrow has raised his hand and said, I've got a seat at this table. And in terms of this rivalry between the two, I've got some numbers. It's fascinating that these two guys uh, already right now are on the list of quarterbacks all time that have 50 or more percent of their franchise's playoff wins in the history of their franchise. Mahomes and Joe Burrow both have exactly half of the all-time playoff wins for their franchises. Mahomes has nine career playoff wins. Burrow has five. We'll do the math. The Chiefs have 18 career playoff wins, and the Bengals have just 10 career playoff wins. That's it. That's crazy when you consider the Bengals have been to three Super Bowls. And they have just 50% of their wins. Another quarterback with 50% of their franchise's wins, Jim Kelly. Bills have 18 all-time playoff wins, just like the Chiefs. Kelly has nine of them. The other four quarterbacks, you can guess one of them, Chris. Tom Brady. He has 30 of the Patriots' 37 all-time playoff wins, 81%. The only one with a higher winning, higher percentage of his team's all-time playoff wins. Drew Brees has nine of the ten Saints' all-time playoff wins. John Elway has 14 of the ba- uh, Broncos' 23, 60.9%. Nice. Close to being nice. Almost nice. Uh, and how about this one? Our buddy Kurt Warner has 57.1% of the Cardinals' all-time playoff wins. He has four of the franchise's seven. Did you so, mention Russell Wilson? I did not. He does not have that large percentage of oh, it. Oh, interesting. Really? Well, he doesn't have over 50%. This is... Jim Zorn was putting all in All time. Well, Matthew Hasselbeck, as you know, made the oh, yeah. Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, so. that's Good true, point. true. Good, Good point. point. So, look, um, these two are now, uh, you know, marking, making notches for their franchises all time. And now against each other, you want to talk about this rivalry here. I've got an interesting uh, statistic for you. They're all over my desk. I've got to find it for you. Here it is. Mahomes and uh, Burrow, as we know, have played, played each other three times, and, and uh, Burrow's won all three. The NFL Network Research Department came up with a list of notable quarterbacks to win their first three or more starts against their rival in head-to-head matchups. Aikman beat Steve Young in the first three times he faced him. No way. Bradshaw beat Roger Staubach the first four times he faced him. <laughs> okay. Ken Stabler beat Dan Fouts the first five times he faced him. Bart Starr beat Fran Tarkenton the first five times he faced him. And Tom Brady beat Peyton Manning the first six times he faced him. <laughs> and this has an opportunity to just get right in this mix, this all-time mix. Can't wait. Nor can Joe Burrow, who said this about taking on a Chiefs team that is once again hosting them in the AFC Championship game. Coming in as the top seed. They weren't the top seed. Remember last year it was the Titans the top seed, and Burrow knocked them off. He's going for another 
playoff victory against the top seed in the conference in as many years. Here was Burrow about this. We've been in these spots. Um, we have the experience. We know what team we're playing. The team that's been to this this game the last five seasons, and they've all been in that stadium. So, to me, they're still the team to beat, and and we're coming for them. But we know it's going to be tough. We know it's going to be going to be hard fought, and we know the kind of players that they have on that side. I, I you know, for the radio audience, um, so cool looking. <laughs> It doesn't look like he even has to shave. You know what I mean? Like he's a shave. He, he doesn't sweat. He, he doesn't like, look at him. He is he's like, like a, a cologne. He out. looks twelve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he he is just starting. He is a baby faced assassin. And I really thought to myself, I'll, I'm gonna maybe show my age here. I don't care. It reminds me of another baby faced assassin. Finster baby from Looney Tunes. <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> Smoking a cigar. Finster oh, baby. wow. Okay. He is. <laughs> it's just like coming for you. I never knew that kid's name until right Finster now. Finster baby. <laughs> He's never the knew Finster what that baby of quarterbacks. Look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming for you. How did I not know this? And you know, <laughs> he got the house surrounded. In the house is Burrowhead. Oh, baby, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Chiefs better not let this dude win, man. If you rename your home field Burrowhead, come on now. That's all anybody's going to be talking about it for is, a whole year. It is. Right? Disrespect Willie is Gay, real. Willie Gay, we went out the door right. yesterday with Willie Gay, the linebacker, Popping being out asked shirt. about it. He was just not even terribly happy about it at all and then asked well if what impresses you about it, anything impressive about the Bengals offense he said nothing nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. yeah right <laughs> Finster baby the baby faced assassin is oh, re- coming to rename the stadium dude catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel 12 to 3 Eastern for free 